Grand Rising loves, this is the altar spread for the collective today. <sighs> so, we have a little mix up in the, you know, shaking shit up, and I'm excited about the spread. Like, super excited that something different shows up. But um, the sacred geometry that showed up for today is the calm within. And it talks about the golden spiral, how it invokes peace, but it's the travel back inward to self. And like I said, if spiral is ever a mention, I will always talk about this shell. <laughs> there is not a time I won't. Um, because I believe that that's a synchronistic reminder for myself to set the bar higher. And so this shell is millions of years old, millions, not just a million years old, millions of years old. And this was actually taken from the heart of Yarmini. And I encourage you to look that up to see exactly where that is. It is a very remote, overgrown space of a mountain. And the historical story behind the story of Yarmini is, is fascinating. But this gift, this very divine gift was brought back to me from my friend Doug who actually hiked in to the heart of Yarmini, but had to bushwhack his own trail because people do not go there. And braving mountain lions, <laughs> because he did witness scat the whole way in and also um, carcasses of recent kills. And he slept out in the open um, as he reports with his firearm on his chest. <laughs> and it just, for me to even be a thought in someone's head in, in those instances, it's just, I am overcome with gratitude. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful gift um, to bring this back to me. And that sets the bar really high. And so I am so appreciative of that. And I will mention that every time that I have the opportunity to do that. And so the golden spiral is found in, in everything in nature. You can find that even into the molecular structure, the beautiful spirals. But it really is about going inward, back to self. And so you can see the lotus in this card. The lotus represents enlightening, um, enlightenment, and the achievement of reaching enlightenment. But I really love how this person has this bubble of storm around the head. But the calmness starts in the base because you have to be rooted in order to reach those really astronomical heights and that's really the paradox of the human experience that we have to embrace our human in order to become more spirit than human and I love this so the calm within is asking you because it did show up in the re um, in the reverse to feel the chaos that's around you but to know that everything is a manifestation of you. You are never witnessing or experiencing anything that is not you. And so when something shows up, accept that, but find it within yourself. If you find it to be disharmonious, find the part of you that created it and heal it. And um, so I, that is very synchronistic for me as well. That is not the card that showed up for me. Um, this is what showed up for me today. Also spirals. So beautiful that I, I also got spirals, but mine talks about the harmony of relationship. And um, the only divine relationship I'm in right now is with myself. <laughs> but... Um, 
I'm starting to witness things that are very triggering for me, um, rage triggering. And so I'm moving through that for myself and doing lots of Ho'oponopono around that. And also expressing my rage because my rage is sacred. And so really owning that for myself. Now the corn also showed up in reverse and the corn represents abundance. For those seeds that have been planted, you are now reaping the crop of that. But in the reverse, it says, be really careful of your feelings of entitlement. That you are only going to reap what you sow. So if someone else is sowing, you are not going to reap the benefits of their sowing. It's kind of like the little red hen, you know, like who wants to help me harvest the wheat, grind the wheat, make the flour, make the bread, bake the bread. Nobody wanted to help. Nobody wanted to help, but everybody wanted to eat the damn bread. If you know the story, it's a childhood story, but a lot of those stories have deep seated moral lessons in them spiritual lessons in them and um, I really appreciate that and um, that's why I say turn off the TV <laughs> because there's spiritual lessons in everything that you experience outside of that but the TV is meant to numb your senses but the corn showing up in reverse is really saying, be careful of your, your thoughts of entitlement. That nothing shall be given to you freely unless you have the discipline, right? And so there's no, and it, I love how it says there is no fast track. I love that because as a spiritual teacher, um, my entire life has been very connected. So I'm not new to the spiritual path, uh, even as a child being very connected, but I teach people how to get back to that, like that connectedness and back to themselves. Like, who are you? Just like I say, I help people remember who they are. And that's super important for me to help uncover the grit. And so there are lots of tools and Everyone is a river and we're all headed back to the sea and no two rivers are alike. So there's really no black and white rules about the spiritual path. Um, there are no hardcore rules except staying in your heart, being in your highest integrity and honoring yourself, yourself, because you are God, you are source. And so you have to honor yourself above all others. But so many people are looking for the fast track, you know, like the um, third eye opening retreats and psilocybin. And those are only windows into the spirit. They are not a doorway. They are not going to help you take a shortcut across land to the sea. You know what I'm saying? Like you're still on your river but you are gonna have glimpses. So there is no fast track because I, I hear that all the time. Like, oh, I went to this third eye opening retreat and it blew my third eye wide open. Now I'm woke as fuck and I know everything. No, because no, because really the more you know, the more you know you don't know. <laughs> and, um, and so I see that all the time with people who do mushrooms, especially, I think more so than um, doing any other psychedelic, like for some reason mushrooms, but I have a very strong soul memory of corruption coming out of that plant medicine. And it is a powerful plant medicine, but you have to be respectful and know that that, that's still not a fast track. <laughs> and, um, and so that's why I, I like to have different experiences like sweat lodges and pushing my physical body to the extremes because it does let me see through different windows, facets of myself. 
and excavate those pieces of myself and experience but there is no fast track if you are still in your physical body you are still healing and there is no one more um no one higher than you no one lower than you they could be more progressed than you but there is no fast track so like ayahuasca and um, doing mushrooms and smoking weed <sighs> even um, datura and all, all of those beautiful plant medicines um, it's just facilitating the ego to be shut down for a temporary moment but it's not it's not permanent by any means and there is a whole lot of people I know that have those experiences and then don't carry that into their discipline when you're being shown things that's a gift and you're meant to take that into your discipline into your integrity and into you becoming heart-centered so just feel into that for yourself that there is no entitlement that's the corruption of the hierarchy and that's ego okay so insight azure i love azure by the way i work i work with it often azure does help you see past that illusion of the ego that entitlement it removes the cloudedness of the human experience so that you can see things more clearly and it's telling you um, what the message is it's saying you are not seeing things clearly so azure will help you get clear on that so whatever you are seeing you're not seeing it clearly so I work with two forms of azure these are azure blueberries and that's how they actually grow is that not like the most badass they look like little globes, right? <laughs> or little planets. I love that. I actually use these as Virgil's eyes. I put them in my obsidian skull. But when I use these in healing sessions, um, and the only time I use these in healing sessions is when someone is extremely in ego, I place one on each eye before I put the eye pillow over their face so that they can um, be more spirit in that session. And these are K2 stones. And so the K2 stones, palm stones, are actually set in granite, which is very grounding because remember it's super important to have that foundation. And then the azure will help you see past and it's like the ajna the brow chakra um that's really what it people are referring to when they say the veil it's the ego you're seeing things through that um the corruption of the veil but actually it's more like drapes you really can't see through it so it's not transparent like a veil would be and so um but I love this. And so this azure helps you see past the drapes. But being set in granite, that's exactly what I teach. You need to be grounded in order to reach those heights and to be able to translate it into your human experience and hopefully take that experience that you've had with me holding the space into your discipline. So it's it's just like having those other plant medicine experiences or so the circle cross of tenon showed up again, the rare intersection of heaven and earth. And this showed up before, remember? And so I love that this keeps showing up because it's saying right now is your time to jump and there is a rare intersection of heaven and earth right now where you will be not only protected um, but also given the gift of grace through that so make your choice and do it 
And I love that. And so corn is saying, plant the seeds, do the work, and you will reap the benefits of that. And so cross the, the circle cross of tenon is saying, do it now, but do it with clarity. So go within, right? And both of these will facilitate the going within the, the meditative state of going within and azurite using azurite as the tool to do that so that you can move forward and that's the spread for today i love it i'm so grateful for that so thank you and i love you i'm sorry please forgive me